So, as you can tell by the title of this video, you can kind of already tell what kind of video this is going to be. Kind of a rant, really, but honestly, I'm it's not even really ranting at this point. I'm, I'm just spitting facts. So, earlier this month, Rockstar announced to their Newswire that they're uh, having this heist challenge. And basically, the reward for completing this heist challenge is $2 million, right? And also, I believe if you complete all the finales for the Doomsday Heist, you do get, get some special hoodie. And honestly, it's the Doomsday Heist, the setups, and the preps, even the finales, they're all headaches to me to even do. Like, don't even get me started on the Act 2 setups, because that, that was just ridiculous. Like, saving ULP, all those missions are just a pain in the ass to do putting out the fires on those servers it's just really tedious the only good thing about those heists would probably either be the story and that it only needs a minimum of two players but honestly the setups and the heist finales are much easier with four players and two players but the requirements to get the two million dollars for this heist um challenge you need to do every single heist in the game Except for Kyle Perico, of course, because that's like the easiest heist to do. You don't need anybody's help. You can do it all by yourself, solo, complete all the setups and the finale with all under like 40 minutes. And basically, I don't even think it's really worth it, even with the payout increases we've gotten with this DLC over the summer. They're not even worth doing. It's like, what, you're, you're splitting, what, $400,000 between four people for like two and a half hours of work with the setups and the finale it's not worth doing even the doomsday heist like those setups are just so ridiculous like the aimbot on the npcs and they're such bullet sponges the npcs so it gets to the point you're like is it really worth doing for just two million dollars like i'd understand if this heist challenge rewarded us with like a free vehicle like i remember back in 2020 there was a heist challenge and those who participated got a free vehicle i believe it was it the go-kart it was only a go-kart but still like it's a free vehicle you know and like two million dollars is gonna cut it like i believe you're gonna make more doing the heists in general you know what i'm saying like you're gonna make about at most i want to say five million with all the heists that's including the doomsday the casino the original heist you know you're about you're gonna make at most five million and keep in mind you got split between four people and all that so i don't think it's worth it for for just two million dollars in a hoodie like are you serious like a hoodie that you're probably never gonna wear that looks okay you know the, the design or whatever but honestly it's not worth doing two million dollars are you serious like i don't like doing kyle perico over and over again but like you could do two kyle pericos in the span of like a day and make two million dollars you can do like you can grind some agency contracts or the uh, auto shop contracts or even pay phone hits in the and you can make two million dollars in a day doing just that without even Kyle Perico. So why bother going through the trouble doing all the setups for the original heist, doing all the preps and setups of finale for the Doomsday heist, spending two hours doing the casino heist just to A, not get the entire payout because of the crew at the casino heist, you know, at the hacker, the getaway driver, the gunman, they get like, a, I think 20% at least. And then with the OG heist, they're not even worth doing for money because they don't pay out that much and you're splitting it between four people. And then the Doomsday heist, like I said earlier, the NPCs are bullet spongy. The NPCs you have to protect, they drive in slow vehicles. And the NPCs have like ridiculous amount of aimbot, so you gotta spam snacks and armor. So at that point, why are they even worth doing for this challenge? Two million dollars? Are you serious? Two million dollars? That's the best they could have done for us. Honestly, in my opinion, get offended. Like, you're, you're kind of a dumbass if you're grinding the heist challenge just for $2 million. Like, I get it. If you want to do it for fun, go go for it. But, like, for if, if you're really grinding for $2 million, you know? Like I said, Kyle Perico. Do that shit twice, back to back. Well, not back to back because of the nerf. But still, like, Kyle Perico. Do it twice in a day. $2 million right there. I don't know. To me, that's it's not worth it. It really isn't. It's really not worth the effort, time, the stress. 
trying to get a fourth player and then you end up getting some random who, who fucks up the entire heist for you. Honestly, it's not worth it. Just do it. Honestly, just do two Kyle Perigos and you're good. So I don't recommend doing this challenge. Like, like, like I said earlier, if they would have gave us like a free vehicle, you know, like they did back in 2020, I would have been okay with that. But what the hell is this? You know, that's all I really want to say about this. There's not much more to say about it. It's really not worth doing. It's not worth your time or effort or energy or any of that. But if you guys did go on, enjoy the video, like and comment, be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel. If you agree with me or disagree with me, let me know down in the comment section below. But yeah, with all that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.